What's going on YouTube Gardener? It's your boy Sydney from the Naked Gardener channel. In this video, we're going to do an update of our garden tour. Now let's get growing. All right, we had an empty slate here. This wasn't in the uh, last uh, garden tour, so I added some uh, blue green, Wagner blue green tomatoes here. These are indeterminate to, uh, tomatoes. Uh, I'm going to add, I added those right there. Uh, the green, gro green globe artichokes still are at a standstill point. We have the red cell lettuce. We have the borage uh, right here and right here are uh, starting to sprout up. We're excited about that. Uh, we have some bull nose peppers. I'm going to have to stake and uh, make sure to tie this up this trellis here or this stake here. And this is, where's my name at? What kind of tomato is this? Gardener's Delight. Oh yeah, Gardener's Delight, yeah. Uh, we got some straight neck squash right here. I'm surprised it still hasn't done anything besides that. I planted an, another one right here just to see if this one will outgrow that one. We have uh, the Mrs. Naked Gardener put these out of a pot into the beds here. Nasturtium. These are the nasturtiums, the uh, Alaskan mix. We actually tried these recently and it wasn't uh, too bad. The kind of flavor of uh, uh, the leaves, kind of flavor of radishes. We haven't tried the, uh, the flower yet, but um, we'll probably try once it gets more flowers in there. Um, we got the sweet basil and the bull nose peppers. Well, I added these tomatoes in here. These are beefsteak tomatoes. These aren't for the uh, grow off tomatoes, but I just added these in there since we had some space and had to get rid of some containers. We've been getting a lot of uh, leaf miners here lately due to the humid and rainy season. So we're gonna have to do some neem oil to kind of keep that down. Then we're gonna go over to the Mm -hmm. yeah. So we got the kale and some more. Uh, we got some onions right in here. The red burgundy okra is starting to sprout. We got a, a pod right here and a small one right there. And the, ew, another one right here. Mm -hmm. And then we have some eggplants and some uh, bush beans right here. Once again, we got some more leaf miners. We got to address that artichoke up here we just put this trellis up here from a leftover piece from our overhead trellis of the entry one we haven't decided what we're going to grow up here just yet uh, so if you have any ideas that we can grow on these comment down below and then we have our columbine uh, flowers uh, that we planted last year that they just now starting to, to bloom all right, now we, we're gonna go to the small container pots. These are determinate tomatoes. These are the Tiny Tims. These are about as high as they're gonna get. Uh, we got uh, fresh, uh, ready compost at, as to feed them. And uh, these have a lot of tomatoes on them. I see why Callie Kim loves these because just about every one of them has uh, at least about, I would say about 10 to 15 tomatoes on them. I might have to do a, another succession planting of these because once they're done uh, flowering and providing the fruit, they die off. So we'll see how that goes. We got uh, artichoke here, a butterfly weed plant that we're gonna have to basically get rid of. It's days are numbered. Yeah, this is Naked Garden is ready to kill plants. I'm very quick to kill them off. She's make space. Dr. Deft. Uh, mm -hmm. We have some butterfly weed here or milkweed here uh, growing up pretty good. And then we're going to go off to the uh, other bed. Uh, we have some um, chocolate beauty peppers right here. Uh, these atomic grapes haven't really grown much from the last time we showed y'all. Uh, however, uh, these tiny Tims over here have been, and you can see they're about to sprout up uh, some flowers there. 
This is some Thai uh, basil. And we got some cucumelons here. We actually got some, one of these had a, a bud on there. I can't find it now. It probably fell off. But we're getting some uh, some more flowers on there. We're really excited about that. Oh, there it goes at the top. Right there, our first cucumelon. Then we have our uh, lettuces right here. Uh, we have the freckle romaine and the regular uh, lettuce romaine. Uh, we have some lemon basil here. Mm. And then we have some um, three-sided Syrian peppers right here. Uh, the tomato, which... Gardener's Delight. Gardener's Delight tomatoes. Then we got some more lemon balm, or we have some lemon balm back there. The sunflowers, you know, the missus loves some sunflowers, so they're been doing pretty good here. These are a mixture of alyssums from the royal carpet and the white ones. They're actually going to seed now, so they're going to reseed oh, the themselves. The first flower opened. Oh, sure did. This is a zinnia, either the purple, I think this one might be the purple prince or. Peppermint. Yeah, so this is the purple print. I'm surprised that's not bigger than that. Yeah. But it looks kind of dead, but we'll we'll get it going here. Uh, we have some peppers here. These are the nine peppers here. We got some basil right there. Uh, this one we got um, a basil we took from a clipping. And it started out to be about right here. And in about a week right now, about two weeks now it has grown that much it's out, almost outgrowing these uh, tomatoes here We've got the napa cabbage the uh, artichokes right here this is what chamomile yeah we've got chamomile growing it has, it has, a its, flower. First, it has its first bud over there yeah it has on a, your side where you don't see the bud right there oh, your hand just touched it sticking out by itself okay go for it oh right there yeah okay sure and then we got the uh purple cone flower right here some snails been uh going after it so uh we're gonna have to spray some stuff to keep it off get these snails off of here uh, we got some purple blue shell and peas and these wrap around so quick and fast. Last week they were about right here and they're just shooting up. All of these is already climbing up the, mm -hmm. the pole right here. And that's another trellis. This is another trellis that we got. We're gonna put the uh, peas, blue shell and took peas on these. Haven't decided what to put on uh, over here since the pickles that we grew on the compost bin our bush pickle variety. I think we're going to do regular pickles on there's maybe pickles on this side or something on the other side or who knows sugar snap peas who knows but this is our uh, brassica bed that we're using uh, we do have some peppers on here uh, we got some sun brights there's just the remaining sun brights at uh, we got some carrots growing up in here uh, got some onions, some sugar snap peas in here, some kale, uh, what is this, some eggplant, some more kale, that's the dinosaur kale. We got the scarlet kale here, artichoke, we have the radicchio, uh, some more lettuce, red mustard, some, um, what's right here? freckle romaine right there and this is basically the hookah culture uh, bed that we're doing where we don't have to water as much uh, it's not going to really go into effect till about the end of this year to start of next year but as you can see already we watered two days ago and it's still moist but that has to do with some of the compost that we put it on the bed all right and this area is our our sweet peppers we have our Cora Bells. 
we have our Anaheim chilies we have our uh, California wonders just the regular old uh, peppers our big red these are gonna be the red ones red peppers bell peppers then we have the Sunbright, which is gonna be the uh, yellow peppers bell peppers and then we have hunger and yellow wax peppers we put um, some uh, ready compost over here and we've been watering and fed and feeding them all right so in these two beds we have our brown potatoes and these uh, 20 gallons fabric uh, containers however they started off doing uh, well but now they're just dying off this is our first year trying to grow potatoes I think some caterpillar or grasshopper been eating on them I think next uh, we're gonna just dump these out and uh, probably try with some candy and uh, some sweet potatoes or something uh, we got some garlic growing in here and these are our hot peppers we have our cayenne longs we have the ancho uh, grande these are doing very well uh, these are our habanero they're very bushy some bugs been snacking on some after probably spray on that uh, here ancho grande and our cayenne longs uh, here we're gonna have we have our what are these purple beauties we have our regular okras and these are gonna get big real fast once again got some leaf minor issues here our dragon tongue peas we're getting a lot of mushrooms from here uh, this is our worm tower here we did the video on that if you haven't seen it we'll put the link right above we got some um, California wonder right here and right here artichokes some uh, red Reuben basil I decided to grow some red uh, romaine lettuce right here we have some shishito peppers growing right here some spaghetti squash growing right here uh, some uh, dark purple opal dark opal purple uh, basil right here we got some spinach growing right here oh, some more gouache mustard spinach these are some more purple beauties and there are about to start a lot of flowers on here so we're about to have a lot of those these are some more Hungarian wax peppers and we got some peas that we got from the store these are supposed to be the cranberry um, green beans we plucked some off earlier and they've just been growing crazy and Anaheim, Anaheim chili and a lot of the flowers these aster our first aster bloom yeah those are the uh, asters that we finally got the bloom on those and those look pretty pretty good uh, here we have uh, Mrs. Naked Gardener uh, herb garden here uh, we got some basil different kinds of basil uh, we have some tarragon, some lavender, some rosemary, and some uh, thyme over there in front of the beds. Uh, we have that sweat oregano, mm -hmm. and then some mint, and some garden sage. And what was this that we just put right here? Saffron. That's a saffron. Saffron. Safflower. Yeah, dark orange. And then here we got just some tomato plants. And these were lemon flower. I pruned it down and it has just been flourishing since then. Uh, same thing in this bed. It's a mirror image of uh, this bed. Uh, we got the oregano in the front the mint right there in the garden sage and this is naked garden wanted some uh, lemons so we grew these from seeds 
straight from the store of the grocery store. And over here is our catnip. Or catnip, I should say. As you can see, Sage is going to town. Get. Oh, I think he gets high from that. Yeah, that's weird. All right, this potting station was over yonder over there and we decided to move it over there to this is Naked Garden want to get rid of a lot of the clutter. So we decided to move it here so that way I won't be hardening off anything on the on the table. Because I want to use my my table. So you know what they say, happy wife. Miserable life. Uh -huh. <laughs> In this bed, we're going to be doing our three sister gardening method. We're going to be growing corn, pole beans, and uh, probably a few different types of squash, maybe a, a watermelon. And uh, on that, we're also going to add some uh, sunflowers and some amaranth to kind of deter the birds and squirrels from eating our corn and our squash and possibly even our, our pole beans. Uh, out in front there, uh, we have a 20 gallon fabric container uh, with some type of, uh, it, I don't know how, a volunteer uh, red mustard uh, spinach grew in there uh, because we haven't even grown it till we got into the other beds. But that popped up in there so we decided to leave it. Uh, that is a ginger, mostly ginger in there. We got garlic. Oh, and actually that's turmeric. And this over here is ginger. And this ginger has been thriving lately with this heat. And we just got some ginger from the uh, grocery store and just laid it on its side and buried it about four inches deep. And now it's popping up. Our two-tier container garden. We're gonna be putting a video about that here shortly and give a nice uh, shout out. But we have got rid of a lot of clutter. And as you know, Mrs. Naked Garden does not like clutter. So I'm trying to please her as much as possible. So we put all of our scattered containers uh, in a nice, neat area. So that way uh, she can be happy. We have our tool, uh, some of our garden supplies. We used to keep like all our feed and fertilizer in there, but we started having some field mice issues. So now we just keep uh, chairs and small knickknack things that uh, won't be a pleasing to rodents. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And make sure you also hit the bell icon so you don't miss an upload. And as always, let's grow together.